Hey guys, it's Hunter. Welcome back to another video. Mark Tremonti is one of my favorite musicians and songwriters, and his models are some of PRS SE's best-selling signature series guitars. Now, a few weeks ago, I was fortunate enough to have the brand new PRS SE Tremonti standard on the channel. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link in the cards, but now I've got the higher-end Tremonti SE to try out. So, how does this compare? Let's take a closer look. Just a quick reminder before we get into the review, as a way to give back to the people that make this content possible, I've partnered up with Sam Ash to do a high integrity mod project, like a Pimp My Ride style upgrade video on one of your guitars. All you need to do is be a patron and send in a video of your crappiest guitar and you'll have a chance to win. For more details, there's a link to my Patreon page in the description. And now let's talk about this awesome guitar. So spec-wise, the Tremonti SE sticks to the tried and true. We've got a mahogany body with a beveled maple top, a flame maple veneer, a set mahogany neck, and a rosewood fingerboard. It has a 25 inch scale length, and the fingerboard is your traditional PRS spec, a very round 10 inches and has 22 frets. So most of the specs are shared with the standard, but there are a couple of differences. While the standard's body is all mahogany, this one has a flame maple veneer over the solid maple top. The gray black trans finish gives this one such an elegant yet understated look. Honestly, these are my favorite types of finishes. One, I'm huge into black trans flame right now, and two, it's classy without being too Tremonti-esque which can sometimes be an issue with signature guitars. There are far too many signature models out there that look too much like someone else's guitar, where, and maybe it's just me, but it's almost kind of embarrassing to play them, and the Tremonti is not one of those. And in general, that's something that I have to give PRS credit for. No matter what genre of music you intend on playing, whether it's heavy music or not, the Tremonti looks the part. This particular one, in some lights, it's almost black, others more green, and the natural binding on the top is very, very nice. It also has PRS's signature SE bird inlays. From the comments on the last video, I had no idea there was so much dislike towards them. Personally, I love them. They're so unique compared to traditional dots or blocks, 
and it's something that makes this guitar instantly recognizable as a PRS. Something you'll either love or hate is how chunky this guitar is. I love my guitars heavy, and this suits me just fine, but at 9 pounds, the weight is something to consider before pulling the trigger on one. Now the Tremonti SE is one of those guitars that suits what I like so well, and it's so much fun to play. The neck has a wide, thin profile, feels very fast, especially once it's been subjected to the rough side of a Scotch-Brite sponge, like I normally do with all my guitars with gloss finishes on the neck. The body also has a nice little tummy cut on the back, as well as the classic PRS cut on the horn, which makes upper fret access easy, even without an aggressive cutaway at the neck heel. The fretwork is probably the most noticeable improvement on this one, from the less expensive standard. They're really, really well polished. They're level and the ends are very smooth. This thing plays like butter. Then the Tremonti SE has PRS branded hardware. The tuners are unremarkable, but don't get me wrong, that's not a bad thing. They do what they're supposed to do, have good turn resistance, there's absolutely nothing to complain about. For convenience sake on an $800 guitar, it would have been nice to have some locking tuners though. Now that's not a knock against this guitar, it's just a comment on upper and PRS SE in general since none of them even the almost $1,000 Holcomb model come with locking tuners. Then there's the PRS patented molded tremolo. I'm always impressed with how good the bridges on PRS SE guitars feel, and this is no exception. Now, I'm much more of a rhythm player, something I've mentioned a lot over many videos, so I don't have much need for the tremolo functions, but I can't help but really like this bridge. There's something about the brushed satin finish of the saddles that feels great to rest my hand on. It also goes both up and down while maintaining tuning stability, something you can't always take for granted on affordable import models. And just like the other models at the upper end of PRS's SE range, the 2018 Tremonti comes with a nice, simple padded gig bag. It's actually really good because the padding is thick and rigid so it's very protective, but the bag has a nice slim form factor so at the same time it's also highly portable. I've actually been using it as my go-to anytime I need to take a guitar anywhere. Then the pickups in this guitar are PRS's own proprietary Tremonti S humbuckers. Tremonti is known for using Mesa Boogie amps on tour so here's what they sound like through the dual rectifier. These are the same ones found in the Tremonti standard, so I kind of knew what I was getting already. What I noticed most about these pickups, especially through the dual rec, is how thick they sound. The rhythm tone seems to fill up a lot of sonic space. There's also an impressive amount of clarity, like using these in an open tuning with a lot of gain like I'm doing here isn't a problem. It doesn't turn into one giant mush of sound like you get with a lot of other pickups. There is a ton of ringing from the springs in the back when you stop playing though, which is more than a little annoying. There's more ringing with this one than even the standard I tried, so I don't know. Maybe I just got unlucky with this one, and I might end up locking it down. Now PRS actually gave me my choice of guitar, and as a single cut guy, it came down to either the Tremonti or the 245. Now I was torn for days on which one I wanted, they both look phenomenal, and eventually I opted for the Tremonti for a couple reasons. Firstly, the neck profile on the Tremonti is a modern style wide thin, as opposed to the 245's more vintage feeling wide fat neck. Then there's the bridge. The Tremonti's molded tremolo is personally a lot more comfortable for palm mutes than the wraparound stop tail. The biggest factor for me though was the scale length. PRS has a habit of naming models based off of their specs, and the 245 name actually refers to the 24 and a half inch scale length. 
I like using 9 gauge strings, so that's a little short. The 25 inch scale length on the Tremonti is really what sealed the deal over the 245 for me. So yeah, I'd still love to try out the SC245, maybe even own one one day. The one in whale blue looks so classy, but for me and for what I'm into right now, even though they look very similar, the Tremonti is just a better fit for my playing style. Hopefully those distinctions will help you if you're facing a similar decision. So this Tremonti SE is one of the new favorites in my current stable of guitars. It's everything I liked about the standard, but better in terms of both looks and playability. The frets are a little nicer, the fingerboard a little rounder on the edges, the transparent black flame maple top stands out more. At less than 800 US, if you're looking for a solidly built guitar with classic looks but a modern vibe, the PRS SE Tremonti kills it in terms of bang for buck and definitely has my recommendation. So if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and give it a like. These are of course just my opinions and I'd love to hear yours, so leave them in the comments and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. You can also hit the little bell for notifications, that way YouTube lets you know every time I upload a new video. If you want to support what I do with the honest reviews, get bonus extras and have a shot at winning a complete upgrade package for your own guitar, check out my Patreon. Thanks to Gene at PRS for sending this guitar over for the video and also to Luke for mixing everything. Thing. He's got his own YouTube channel and he's also open for business, so hit him up if you need anything mixed yourself. Links to everything are in the description, including Signal Chain, social media, and our Discord server, which you should definitely join. As always, thanks so much for watching. You've been awesome. This is the PRS SE Tremonti, and I'll see you for the next video.